Today on Home Theater Fanatics, we're going to learn all about the SMSL M100 Mark II DAC and also learn how to use this guy to upgrade the sound on your PC. Welcome back, fanatics. So, like I said, today is all about DACs. And the first question I need to answer for everybody is, what is a DAC? DAC stands for Digital to Analog Converter, and pretty much everything you own already has a DAC in it. Your cell phone has a DAC, your computer has a DAC, your TV has a DAC. I mean, everything's already got a DAC. So, you might be asking yourself, since everything already has a DAC, why would I want something like this when I don't need it? Well, the question is, do you need it or not, right? So not every DAC is created equally and you might want to have an experience listening to music that could be better in any given setup, right? And that's where the external DAC comes in. You take these and you can replace the existing DACs and equipment and improve the sound quality of whatever that system might be. Maybe you want to put this with your cell phone, right? Have your cell phone and send the digital information out into the DAC, have it converted to analog and amplify it that way and improve the sound. Maybe you do the same thing on your PC. Maybe you do it in your two channel environment with information coming off of a CD player. You can set this up in a lot of different ways. Now, the first thing we need to do though, is take a look at this DAC and figure out exactly what's going on with this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox the M100 Mark II from SMSL and see exactly what this thing's got going on. The first thing to note about this box is that this is a tiny little device. I mean, it's maybe, what's that, six inches by three inches square, something like that. So. It's, uh, it's rather small, and this is the Mark II version of this particular DAC. So let's go ahead and see what we've got in here. Um, some instructions, nice cover, and let's see, plastic coated. It's in there pretty good. And then over here, USB cable. And I think primarily this one is designed to be connected via USB, but let's take a look and see what we've got when we get everything off. So yeah, it's even smaller. So this has got to be, I don't know, one, two, yeah, it's like three inches by two, two and a half, something like that. So super duper tiny, which is really, really cool. I, I like this quite a bit. Um, so this will fit really well on a desktop. When we look on the back, we've got optical in, power, USB in, and then we've got outputs uh, as well. So you've got left and right, and then maybe this is a coax input right here. So this will give you the standard suite of digital inputs into this DAC that you can then output via analog left and right. On the front, we've got a power button. Let me see if I can get you to focus, there we go. And uh, it's very slick. I mean, it's, uh, it's small, like I said, it's matte black with a shiny front and we'll power this up and I assume there's going to be some kind of display here on the front. Uh, that's that's my guess anyway. We'll find out for sure in just a minute. Um, but that's, uh, that's exactly what we've got here on the box with the unboxing. Now that you've seen this unboxed, you know, here's here's a size comparison. It's, uh, it's tiny and the form factor is rather unique. This isn't shaped like any normal normal hi-fi component, right? Most stacks are kind of wide and flat and look like scale down components that you'd put in a rack. But this, you know, I, I think they took the idea of we can make this small, we can make it fit in a lot of places. So why not do that and not add a lot of fluff to the external casing, right? And you know, it's glass in the front and I think this is aluminum on the outside and it's uh, a couple of pounds, not super heavy, but it's, it doesn't feel featherweight either. So uh, it's got it's got nice heft to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the specs on this unit. The DAC chipset is the Sabre 9018. It has 121 decibels of dynamic range. It sports DSD to 512 and PCM at 32-bit 768 kilohertz. Connectivity supports USB, coaxial, and optical. Total harmonic distortion is 0.0003%. The unit is controlled by a single power button on the front. Holding the button turns the unit on or off, and you can push the button quickly to move between the different inputs. 
Now let's step through an install on a Windows 10 PC. Uh, and this is about as easy as it possibly can get. I mean, this is super straightforward. So you take the unit and on the back, we're gonna use USB to connect this. And as long as your USB hub has enough power to power this unit, all you need is the one cable plugged into N1. Let's see if I can do this upside down. There we go. So that will be the connection into the DAC itself. The other end of this cable is going to plug in to your USB hub on your computer or just one of the USB ports. And I'm gonna reach over and plug that in now. And this should give us power. Everything's working as expected. Perfect, yep, so we got power and connectivity to your PC. At this point, if this is the first time you've plugged this into your computer, your computer will go through an identification process. It'll say new USB device, uh, identifying SMSL, and it'll install the driver, and you're good to go at that point. Now, if you do have a problem where the computer does not identify this unit, you can download a driver from the SML website, but that's all there is to installation. When you want to output sound through this unit, you'll just select this device in your audio settings on your PC. And then from here, you take your two analog outputs and these will cable up directly to whatever your amplification is. And that's all there is to installing this guy on a PC. And it works exactly the same if you're gonna use this with a Raspberry Pi uh, to support something like a Rune streamer, or if you want to use this with a cell phone, uh, just gotta be able to pipe it in on the back and you're good to go. Now that you know the specs of the product and you understand how you can leverage this in your environment, let's talk a little bit more about the specifics. So first off, you know, why would you want to buy this, right? Typically you'll buy a DAC at this level to upgrade some piece of equipment that you don't want to drop a ton of money into, but you want to have a better experience with. And you know, the example of a PC upgrade is, is very, very good. And this comes in at less than a hundred dollars. So for the money, you get really, really great sound quality. And I'll, I'll talk about that in just a minute. So uh, this unit was sent over to me from Aoshida Audio. So I would really strongly suggest you guys check them out. There'll be a link down below and they sell a ton of products, including this one, that are similar to this. So, you know, there's different levels of the SML DAC and they, they sell a lot of different brands as well. Um, and, and they're really a great way to, to jump into this kind of product when you're ready to do it. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons of the M100. So the pro, good sound, great DAC chipset, um, very low cost of entry and very easy to use. Also, the form factor, big bonus. On the sound quality side, uh, good bass, good mid-range. I think the high end on this is where this actually excels. It's very airy, sounds very good. Um, although it can be a little analytical uh, and this doesn't warm the sound up any. So if you're looking for that kind of product, this is not the one. This is pretty much what is out there is what you're gonna get out of it. So what goes in is what comes out uh, and it's, it's a very transparent. Um, so from that point of view, I think this is really great. And like I said, it's definitely a step up over the integrated DACs that you find in most pieces of equipment. Now, the downside to this unit is this is it, right? So there's no headphone out on the front. There's no amplification in it. There's no Bluetooth. There's nothing fancy. It does a single job and it does it really well. So if that's such what you want, you want that purpose-built unit, this is the one for you. But if you're looking for more of a general unit, you'll wanna look at some of the higher end offerings from SMSL. And like I said, on the website link below, you can go and they've got a lot of different models that you can choose from to get what you're looking for. So from my point of view, I think this DAC is an absolute win. And I've really enjoyed listening to music on my PC through this, and it is a step up. Um, remember, DAC changes to sound are fine grained kind of changes. It's not the same type of change that you would see or hear rather when you change speakers. So don't expect the pendulum to move 20 or 30% a change in sound when you change your DAC. You know, look, look for the fine changes and this is kind of what you're fine tuning. How can I make things incrementally better with each piece inside of that uh, music or sound distribution chain? And the DAC is an extremely important piece in that chain. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Those subscriptions are super important and they really help drive the channel forward. Um, drop some comments down below if you've used this model or another model from SMSL, or if you think it stacks up well or not so well against some of the competitors. That would be really great information to have. So again, thanks so much for watching and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.